Hey folks, we're back. We have just finished the quest and we're heading home victorious and quite possibly slightly burdened. Um, I'm going to take some stuff with me as we go back. Enough to burden me but not stress me is the plan. Ooh, haven't tested this spell book yet. Um, and... We'll see how things go from there. So yeah, after this we're heading to the Ice Queen's Realm, very exciting. And we will get ourselves um, a bag of holding at long last, which will ameliorate many of our uh, inventory woes. So, very excited for that. Um, okay. Eh, I still have a fair bit of weight. What else should I bring? And what else? You go with this leaf. Yeah, that sounds good. And um, shield of reflection. Okay, seems good to me. Um, we'll leave it at that. Annotate stash. Yeah, there's a poly trap too, so I'm going to be on the lookout for more pets. Um, and yeah, that's how it's going to go. Oh, um, one thing I should do is switch my poly control back to invisibility. I was using poly control because invisibility is useless against um, the quest nemesis. Um, so I figured I'd choose another ring that gave me a minor benefit. Namely, if I was losing horribly, I could eat the genetic engineer tin and polymorph into something to um, give me a little more time. Um, anyway, that's no longer necessary, so back to the iron. Um, trolls taken care of, lovely. Um, oh, and I'm at full power again, so what are some things I should ID? Let's go with doot doot. And I guess some of these things to see if any of them have a props. They do not. To be expected. Um, cause fear is the spell book. Uh, not terribly useful. Not terribly useful to anyone, but especially not to me because um, I can't get any skill in enchantment. So currently level three spells that I'm in of schools that I'm unskilled in. Uh, they have a two thirds fail rate. So um, yeah, I'd never cast that, which means I will not read the spell book. Ever so here a horse, lovely. Um, what should I feed the horse? Huh, I don't actually have any vegetarian stuff on me, except for like special things that I don't want used. I'm gonna just pacify the horse for now with a food ration, and I'll come back with some plant thing, like a kelp frond maybe. And I'll have to remember to carry kelp fronds around in the future. Um, okay. So yeah, my hope is to get a nice pet. Ooh. Um, and hopefully applying that against Catherine the Ice Queen. Um, 
I am feeling significantly more confident. I have two weapons of... No, never mind. Um, I was going to say Catherine is vulnerable to fire, and I have two weapons of fire, so I should be good. Uh, but actually, object properties don't take into account um, elemental vulnerabilities at the moment. So they'll still do, ex still do extra damage, but they won't do increased extra damage beyond uh, beyond um, the normal amount they do to any monster that isn't resistant to fire. Still, it's a fair amount of damage, so I think I can kill Catherine pretty quickly. The question is just, will she kill me even quicker? Which is a definite possibility. Um, Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, I don't have a scroll of remove curse in my bag. I should carry one of those around. And I st I'm going to keep that Curse Potion of Invisibility. I don't plan on needing it anytime soon. Eh, actually, I might not keep it. I don't know. We'll see. So it's useful against, you know, uh, unique monsters, covetous monsters. Next one that I'll face is um, a Demon Lord in Gehenna, which is a fair ways off. So probably not necessary that I carry the invis potion around. Yeah. Sounds like a plan to not carry around, that is. Um, what else? <sighs> Don't need these hunger rings. I'll take having two rings of invis. Nice to have backups. Getting rid of this cancellation one stat. Going for the Hesperides bag, which could explode if I put a cancellation wand in. It would explode. No chance about it. So, yeah, I don't want that. Um, and, okay. Mm. And I need an acid potion to break the bars of the Pegasus's cage. Pegasus is. Sure. Um, so there are one. Uh, there are potions of acid in the Ice Queen's castle, but they are inside crystal chests, and I currently don't have a spell of knock or a wand of opening to open said chests. Um, thus, I must bring my own acid potion. I'm carrying around too much stuff. Oh, some of it's like things up here that I forgot about. Copper shield. Okay. Just these stones. Okay, um, two two hundred units of weight to spare. That sounds good to me. Okay, um, and then I need a couple of kelp fronds. Let's take two. And we're going to go see if we can make a new horse friend and change it into something more badass than a horse. It's funny, normally when I'm chasing something down, it's like a leprechaun or a nymph and they're always teleporting around. 
So it feels like easy move to chase after something that's just wandering around minding its own business. Alrighty. And Tengus will follow you upstairs, which is kind of annoying. Um, I'm going to leave it down there just so I don't have to mess with annotations. Um, speaking of which, let's just look at what we have. We have a scroll of scare monster that we should probably buy since we have tons of gold. Um, we have a bunch of floating eyes, which is whatever. Just generally some stores that we should probably clear out. Um, Ludios we have to go back to. And uh, two safes to check on. All right, and there's that little... Okay, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to keep track of here. Um, oh, yeah, am I going the right Yes, I am going the right way. I need to get to the... Oh, wait, is this the quest level? Yes, it is. Well, I guess now if I'm going to be here, I can also pick up some more stuff, which is cool. Um, arrows. Random stuff in this chest that I locked up. And I'm already close to max capacity again. How quickly weight disappears. Or appears, I suppose. <sighs> Alrighty, let's get this poly session started. Giant spiders can web things, but other than that, they're pretty useless. Giant beetle, great for sacrifice fodder, definitely not a good pet. Ooh. Nope, glass golem is not great. Um, iron golems are very powerful. I don't know if they can be pets or not. Glass golems are pretty meh. Lizard, definitely not. Um, I'm getting all sorts of enemies that I like to face, or all sorts of monsters that I like to face as enemies, but aren't particularly useful as pets. Water moccasin, okay, not something I usually like to face because it means I've been messing around with fountains, which is a terrible idea, and I always dread having to do that. Um, but yeah, also not a good pet. Orc Shaman. Another thing, it's corp leaves a nice corpse, but... Orf Queen, not ideal. Um, it can wear a good amount of gear, so maybe not totally useless. Oh, I should. Um, so it's not necessarily totally useless, but it's pretty useless. Oh, I thought it was a corpse, but no, it's a sprig of wolf spain. I want to keep that. Okay, let's see if I can at least give my dwarf some sleep resistance. Does not appear to be the case. 
Bo Pet Dwarf's Tunnel. I'm not sure I want to find out. Let's keep the dwarf away from the Matic. Oh, now that I finished the quest, I can murder Tengu as I please. Not super time. Uh, it was right next to me, so I figured why not. But not super uh, important right at the moment. But I should keep it in mind, I guess. Alrighty. What are we doing here? Um, hmm. Okay, so All right, are done sticking stuff in our chest, I believe. Um, in the next order of business, are we done? Yeah, next order of business is taking out stuff we might want, um, namely, an apron. So there's a small chance I'll decide to polymorph into something that can wear a cloak and stick on the apron if acid damage is really kicking, kicking my ass, so I'll bring that with me. Um, and let's just study some more stuff for old time's sake. Or future time's sake, I suppose. Let's see what's up with these tens. Um, let's see what's up with these wands. Good enough for me. Oh, the polymorph wand is empty. That explains why... So that must be the one that came from the frost giant in the Ice Queen's realm. That explains why the giant was not zapping it anymore. 
Oh well. Alrighty, I think we're ready to go. Probably. Another option is to make a couple of sacrifices in hopes of just getting one gift. Hmm, interesting. Oh no, that's the dwarf, probably the dwarf horse I tossed to my pet. So it's going to be very old. I have forgotten Great Monster. Anything important that I've forgotten? Nope. The only other thing that I've forgotten recently is Dig, and nobody cares about that. Ever, literally. Um, maybe if you're a wizard. Because you have power to spare then. But otherwise, why bother when you can use a pickaxe or one digging? This Titanothere, how heavy are they? 226.50. Yeah, I won't be able to lift it. Oh well. And I'll just eat it for some extra nutrition instead. Okay. With my short attention span, I have already gotten bored trying to sacrifice. So we're going for it. Onwards to the Ice Queen. This tango is new, right? Yeah, there's still a tango up here as well. Fascinating. Um, okay. Anyway. I should probably dig out a quicker path between those two floors. Those two stairs. Oh, there's a vault on this level. Fascinating. Not like I particularly need gold, but why not search for it? blood as an archaeologist. Although apparently very difficult nonetheless. Maybe I should have just temporarily turned on auto dig. <laughs> I hate auto dig with a passion. I'm the sort of person who crashes into walls all the time and occasionally dives off cliffs which is less excusable. But it means I find auto dig very frustrating. Where is this vault located? I don't know, I think I've done a decent job with the uh, grid pattern. Did I like hallucinate the, the counting money message? Maybe I did. Eh, screw this. It's not why I'm here anyway. Oh, I should probably kill the fire giant too. Let's go do that real quick. Um, that should get me all the way up 
Okay, 25% fire resistance will get me all the way to 100% fire resistance. Which I get while we're wielding my quest artifact, but I will not be wielding that forever, so... Alrighty. Completely chill, lovely. So I just have disintegration to worry about, which, to be fair, is a large worry, but um, fire resistance is also important because you can't enter Gehenna without it. I mean, you can, but you'll be losing health constantly, so that's no fun. Okay, here we are. I got to level 18. Wow. Um, it's not like I fought my way up all the way through level 17. I was polymorphed into level 17, which meant my experience was set randomly, and it must have been pretty close to level 18, as it was. Um, 18 plus 6 is 24. 24 times 24. Okay, I have a 50% chance of getting an artifact. When I sacrifice and get a gift now, which is decent, I would say. Um, what's my loadout looking like? Okay, not awful. I'm not bothering to equip it properly because um, equip her properly. I do know the gender since it's a royal. Um, even though I still don't have a stethoscope, which is bugging me. Anyway, um, it, she's going to die soon. There's no way around that. Dwarf queens are not meant to survive the late game. What am I looking for? I'm looking for levitation. That's it. Okay. Okay, I have levitation on. Not that I will carelessly go over open air. Regardless. <sighs> Alrighty, let's get this party finished. First, the second zoo, largely cleared out by. Wandering enemies? Feuding enemies? I'm not totally certain. See if I can get rid of this lich from afar. All right, destroyed. Nice. And yeah, you get a lot of gold on this level from all the zoos. Plus, there's more more gold in some of the chests. Oh shit! I can't get the bag of the Hesperides without some method of magical opening. Damn, forgot about that. I can tame the Pegasus at least. Um, but yeah, I'll have to go back for the Bell of Opening, I guess. I, I can afford to use a charge to get the Bag of the Hesperides. It's an important thing to do. Ice Devils resistant to fire? 
They are. Ooh, did not know that. I knew they were special in being resistant to cold, but I assumed that also meant they did not resist fire like most other demons. But nope, they are very special little snowflakes. Geez, even with two very good weapons, it takes a lot of work to kill a mammoth. Wanda fire, all right. Um, will not be useful against Catherine because she always has reflection. Always? Yeah, I think always. to take on... First let's take care of these ice doubles. They can be pretty nasty fellows. Um, so I wanted to have my very best weapons. Deal with them. Um, you always get a guaranteed altar here or a temple here to Moloch, which is sort of annoying, but... Ooh, a mirror shattered. I don't think I get bad luck if a monster did it. Here's hoping. Seems pretty bad luck to encounter a murderous adventurer. And I still don't know where that mythical spear is. Hmm. I assume it's on this level somewhere. Maybe a ice troll picked it up and I forgot about it somehow. Ooh, potion, nice. Mm. I don't need all this gold. Trolls don't have any spears. Odd. Nope, didn't finish it off quickly enough. There you go. Mm, let's go two for two. Another potion, nice. Didn't shatter during the explosion. It's pretty lucky. And I'm burdened again. What's not needed? Food rations. Start with those. Um, just drop them in a corner over here. What are some other things I can drop off? Tins. Don't need those. Let's leave it at um, those for now. Um, and I'm just going to lock the door, because why not? I don't think... Oh, I didn't know I hadn't gotten some matter skill already. Well, I definitely want that for repair armor, if nothing else. And with that enhanced skill, I think I'm pretty much enhanced as much as I want and everything I need. So that's cool. Um,
just trying to remember to clean up all the zombies when I can. And one last snow golem guarding the way. Okay. Here we are, folks, at the entryway to the Ice Queen's throne room. I am switching to poly control because Catherine sees invisible. Actually, do her pets. They don't see invisible. Oh, I'm totally wearing invisibility then. Um, okay, so the deal with Catherine is she is both modeled off of Frozen, but also the developer's daughter, um, who wanted to be included in the game, which is super cute. Um, but, of course, it would be pretty morbid if you could kill her. So she's under a curse, and if you basically do the normal equivalent of killing her, i.e. bring her health down to zero, she transforms into an even more powerful character that's peaceful to you. Um, you do not want to anger um, the more powerful, powerful version. Um, similarly, the dogs, Bourbon and Ozzy, um, you will resurrect whenever you kill them um, as peaceful. But if you ever attack Catherine, then they become angry. So... Um, that's tricky. <sighs> Let's see. What do we have that we need? Honestly, I think... I think we're about as prepared as we're going to get. Um, I have solid damage output. That's all that really matters. And the dogs. I don't think I've even aggroed them yet. Okay, let's throw some spheres. Yep, now the dogs are angry. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly what her... can't remember exactly what her inventory is off the top of my head, and there's also some items that are like 50-50. But she gets an athame of frost, she gets a cloak of magic resistance or displacement, amulet of reflection, maybe another amulet is a possibility too. Um, so she's pretty well kitted out. Okay, what happened there? She summoned somebody and she cursed my items. I believe just my horn was affected. Okay, the snow golem getting summoned is not ideal. But, okay, yeah, I'm just doing a lot of damage. So, um, I have defeated her, and it's flavored with me freeing her, and so now she's peaceful, and I absolutely do not want to piss her off, so I'll be very careful around her. Um, oh, and i got to take care of the snow golem, too. Um, and then this here is a grave for Koa, the third dog in the developer's family who, as you can see, has passed away. Um, anyway, that's that. Um, crystal chests in the corners, which I cannot currently open. Um, but I will get the Pegasus real quick. Okay, so it starts as peaceful, but you can tame it by throwing just like a normal horse. It counts as, I don't know if it technically counts as domestic, but it basically acts the same way. So now I have a pet pegasus. Now an important thing when you get a pet pegasus is to immediately haste it, if you can, because their MR is distinctly meh. But when they kill a bunch of stuff, so currently their MR is 50. Okay, that's pretty decent, but it's not amazing. 
But when they kill a bunch of stuff, they'll grow up into greater Pegasus, which has an MR of 90, and there's no way you're hasting it with the one then. You can still smash a potion of speed over their head, but they'll get a little pissed off of you. Um, whatever, I'm just leaving the gold here. Okay. Now we have a badass pet. Nice. Um, that just really loves that one particular gold piece, apparently. So yeah, the Pegasus is a much more amazing pet if you can actually ride things, because it flies and it's super fast and all that good stuff. As it is, it's like, okay. Um, it has a lot of um, offensive power, but so do plenty of other pets. And because it's so fast, it's kind of a pain to control. I'm just never going to find that Mithril Spear, am I? Um, plus, it is a bit of an annoyance that I still don't have a stethoscope. So I'm not super great at taking care of pets. Nonetheless, this is the hand I've been dealt. Okay, so back up to um, I should pick up some more stuff because I'm way underweight and there are plenty of stuff that I can carry. Oh yeah, it's already grown up into a greater Pegasus. I should name it actually. Okay, oops. So I'm healing rain every once in a while, both to make sure they're healthy, but also because I got nothing better to do with spell points right now. Power, whatever it's called. Um, yep. Okay, let's drop. Just to keep us well under. Alrighty. Um, and we do not want to let the Pegasus near the priest, because it will attack and probably kill it. Um, in like two moves as well, since it's so fast. Come on, kill my dwarf pet, I dare you. Slash ask you to. Oh well. Um... Another problem with the Pegasus is there's no way to give it disintegration resistance. And it's just generally difficult to give it. Um, resistances. Ugh. Hate double moves. Wait a sec. Oh, I think I thought the wrong Frost Giant was involved in this. Yeah, and because I'm blinded, I didn't see the ray. Okay, well that wand is probably pretty much toast. Oh well. Oh no, it had a striking wand. Yeah, and this one did have Wand of Lightning. Okay, nice. Alrighty then. Um, yeah. I won't put a barding on the Pegasus yet because I don't know if it's cursed. Um, and I have a better barding in mind. Okay.
Is that a blue jelly? Yay! One good thing about herbivorous pets is since there's fewer things for them to eat, they're more likely to be hungry when you actually want to feed them treats. So, yep, range now cold resistance. Rejoice. Alrighty. Uh, actually, while we're near a forge... to bless my weapon. So there goes one. It's like a 1 in 30 or 1 in 15 chance. But you don't destroy forges by dipping like you can with fountains. So this is a pretty uh, foolproof way to bless uh, metallic items. I should actually probably do it more with amulets and rings that I want to polypile. I've not tried that before, I mostly just do it with weapons. Yeah, but I'm getting close to the point where I'm going to be fighting lots of demons and undead. So, it would be nice to have... Oops! That was fun. It would be nice to have, um... Plus one. Um, as you can see, you can summon a lava demon, just like fountains with their water demons. There's a chance that it will grant a wish, but very, very small. Luckily, I don't really care if they're hostile, because I'm all grown up and easily able to take care of it. Taking longer than normal. <sighs> so, yeah, the next plans are go back down to get Bag of the Hesperides, consolidate all my stashes in one place. There we go. Um, maybe do some inventory management. Um, and uh, then head down to the castle. Oh, and forge my Pegasus this Mythical Spiked Barding. That's... I mean, I would like to do that quickly, but the Mithril Mace is all the way up in Sokoban, so I'll probably do that as part of the inventory management run, which means I should get... I should get Asperities first. Just gotta make sure Rain doesn't hang out near any digesters. Oh, I forgot to... Hmm. Zombies about and... Doesn't seem like the thing left a corpse. Or maybe it ran away. Whoops. And that's why we have grease, folks. I do some inventory management yet again.
And we're back. So, bell of opening, check. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, okay. So back to the ice cream zone. And this time I will remember. Right in there. Levitation again. Whoops. I guess floating activates the portal. Good to know. Just checking one last time to see if there's an ethereal spear around here somewhere. Oh, dragon, shoot, shoot. Um, and okay. Um, it could have digested my Pegasus, so I wanted to kill it quickly. Probably it would have been a better idea to leash rain and just avoid the dragon. Oh well. Still team. Fascinating. Um, oh, mm. I guess I should go back. Um, there's a crystal chest on floor one, and I can carry it down just being burdened. Um, so I should probably do that, because... Oh shit, white dragon. Okay. Dragon is down. Um, here anyway. Arrows as expected. Um, so I can use the bell of opening to open multiple chests at once, hopefully. Do not go after that dragon. Oh yeah, another nice thing about Greater Pegasi, possibly Normal Pegasi, is they regenerate. So, that's cool. Here we are. avoid the dragon once again and or kill it.
Great. So here's what we're going to do. Take off levitation because we don't need that anymore for now. All right, I scroll down. your local zombie disposer, ma'am. Don't mind me. Um, pets will pick fights with the dogs. I don't think it even gains them experience or, you know, whatever the pet version of that is. Um, but they like to scrap. What can I say? Uh, and Rain's picking stuff up all the time because, of course, Let's temporarily drop my horn. Um, so that my pets won't mess with my chests. You know what? I'm locking rain outside here. Dwarf Queen got her hands on some unlocking tool. Damn. Oh. Something just totally wrecked the doors. Whoa, I have like no energy. Fascinating. Wait, what happened? Where'd the door go? Who destroyed it? That was so weird. Okay, this chest probably has a saddle in it, which is why it's so heavy. Um, you get guaranteed some stuff. Um, namely, a saddle, some carrots and apples, potions of acid, which currently do not need. Okay, have ourselves five crystal chests here. Um, things open, lovely. Just chill out, Rain. There's, ooh, a steel spiked parting. Nice. That is not something you see every day. I'm still going to try to make a myth for one eventually, but steel is basically as good. Um, so I'm no longer in a rush, and I don't have to worry about rain getting digested. That is awesome. 
Nice cool scare monster, lovely. And since it came from a chest, I know it has not been picked up. So if it's uncursed, that'll be helpful to know. Um, oops. At long last, a dragon hide bag named the Bag of the Hesperides. Um, so this is a bag of holding, except it decreases weight by um, one third and one sixth, respectively, when uncursed and blessed. I believe those are the fractions. The one sixth is definitely correct. Um, it grants extrinsic protection when carried. Um, and we're not extrinsic, is it? Yeah, extrinsic. Um, it also acts like an oil skin bag and it's made of dragon hide, so it's fireproof. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Okay, so let's check out my oil skin bag. What am I carrying? In particular, in my wands, I do not have a wand of cancellation. I'm not carrying any tools whatsoever. So I can safely tip my oil skin bag into the dragon head bag. Um, and now we take out holy water and scare monster. Scare monster goes in my oil skin sack. Um, so I can tip it out if necessary. And I'm going to dip the bag in the holy water immediately. Great, and you can see I'm down to 737 AUM, which is nice. So this is just worthless glass. This is just the saddle, which I can't use. And oh, I got some coins. Okay, glad I checked. Not that I need 500 more gold in particular, but. Come on, chill, Rain. Okie doke. Off we go. With leaving behind odd mysteries of um, where my mithril spear went. <sighs> Silver crossbow bolts. Gotta love those. Um, oh, and levitation back. Open oh, just to confirm. Yep, steel spiked parting, so we're good on that front. Nice. Okay. Um, and we might come back to our protection, but otherwise that's it for this area. We no longer fear dragons that much, because they cannot digest my pet anymore. So, you know, they still do a fair bit of damage, but I am, for, for instance, considering going up. Their passive attacks are also bad, but rain is cold resistant, so that particular one is a non-issue at the moment. Okay, good enough. I have no idea what Rain is at, but probably they're at close to max level. They've killed a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Still gonna try to let them get in more kills, but not quite as important. 
Um, Alrighty. Oh, and this level need no longer be called Crystal. And I'm letting the Mithril Spear thing go. If only because I have no answers. So, yeah, whatever. Um, okay, on to stash management, which I think, again, I will procrastinate on and do in the next video. Root gold. Mm, let's do slow digestion since we're going to be just faffing around the dungeon for a while, not facing dangerous enemies. Okay. Um, so we'll get back to our stash level. We will. What's actually left on this level? There is a Tengu. Still no clue about the vault. Um, the fire giant is no more. Okay, um, and then we'll leave the video there, I believe. Oop. Still no corpse. Not having much luck with that. And I think the Tengu here was killed. Oh, need to remove that here too. Um, slash capital M will I'll tell you what monsters you can see or sense. No Tengu. So. Still think of you though. Okie doke. Oh, I will set rain off leash to hopefully get a head start on locking them out of the temple. I guess I don't really need to lock the doors, they're a horse. But I guess I should lock them when I leave because other monsters might come on and open them. It's a pain to have to deal with. Oh, poor rain. This is why I... Eh, that stethoscope wouldn't actually help. It's okay. Okay, um, and then some healings. A bit more efficient than extra healing. Probably good. I'm gonna take the Dragonite armor because it's pretty cool. Um, but I can't use it. The main thing is I don't want other monsters wearing it all the time because it does give a lot of AC. So it could make a not dangerous monster annoying and a dangerous monster a serious threat. Alrighty, so I got a lot of gold, more random forging fodder. Uh, I should take out a couple apples so that rain will stick closer to me. Um, and yeah, in general I can be a bit looser in what I'm carrying around because I have a bag of holding now. Rejoice. Um, so that's cool. Mm, one first and foremost. What the hell? Silver crossbow vaults. Oh, they had an object property. Do not see that coming. Venom's not great um, because uh, uh, 
most waking enemies aren't susceptible. Um, I don't know. I have so many forgeries, I might just make it make something for the hell of it, but I also don't feel like wasting time. Oh yeah, the new version is out. It has been out for a couple hours. So I'm hoping to finish up this game quickly, not via death, though, um, so that I can start trying some of the new stuff, like the drow race. Mostly that. The other new stuff I'll encounter, but can't really intentionally bring into existence in the same way. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, there's something else. Ah, why? Yep, didn't want the bell opening. Um, okay, let's read this new spell book. Detect monsters. That's lovely. Um, so we're skilled in divination, so this effect will linger for some number of turns. I don't have energy regeneration, so I can't keep this up indefinitely, but I can keep it up a fair bit of the time if necessary. Um, so cool. Uh, I'm going to put some of these weapons in just the bullet mainly in my bag since I don't need them out. Since it actually, there's the tangible pull benefit of reduced weight, whereas before it just meant an extra inventory slot, which isn't really an issue much of the time. And maybe the tin kit too, just to keep the rusty stuff safe, rustable stuff safe. Um, and then I just wanted to check on Aklis's. Do I have any? I do. Okay. Um, so the steel plus two Aklis must be somewhere upstairs, I suppose. Good to know. Uh, alrighty. This is it for this video. Next time, we'll be back for yet more exciting inventory management. Um, thanks for watching, and see you next time, folks.